he's getting after it. Well, it has probably been about five months since you've seen the backyard track. But today we are bringing it back to the YouTube channel. Welcome back to today's show. If you guys are new here, my name is Tanner Holmes and I'm an 18 year old 360 and 410 sprint car driver from Southern Oregon. And not only am I a race car driver, but I love to create content here on YouTube and other social media platforms to kind of give my fans an insight on what it's like to be on a race team and try to grow in this sport. And it gives you guys an opportunity to ride along with me for this journey. Now, not only do we create content at the racetrack in the race shop, but also entertaining videos like this with our backyard track where we get to shoot some fun stuff. To give you some details on our backyard track, we decided to build it a little under 10 years ago. And I probably shouldn't even use the word we because I don't think my mom was on board and Carly and I were so little. This track was 110% my dad's idea. He wanted to have it so we could try different things with setup, but also use it as a tool for Carly and I to get up to full speed faster and just be more confident in the seat. So the backyard track originally started out as a tool, but I'm not gonna lie, over the years now, it's more turned into a fun playground for us to create content and just rip some laps. Over the last couple of years especially, I can think back to so many incredible YouTube videos that we shot. One of the first to ever go up on my channel was just Carly and I ripping our 250 outlaw carts back here. <laughs> And then a year or two after that, Carly and I had an insane quad race that had a photo finish on the front straightaway. In one of the more recent videos we shot was back in March, Bennett ripped his Mustang back here when we had the sprinklers on. When the pandemic was going on in 2020 and we didn't have as much racing, Carly and I built some yard carts to race back here. But I think the video that has taken the cake and the award for the best backyard track video we have shot yet was at the end of 2020, at the end of November, my mom hopped in an outlaw cart for the first time. The track was muddy as can be. It was barely even raceable, but we had a last minute idea and we weren't able to go racing that weekend. And my mom toughened up. She got in the suit, put the helmet on and was kind of more idling around out there, but she still made her first ever laps in a cart. She needs to roll. Oh, I've done one. What is she doing? So this is gonna be take two of my mom getting in an outlaw cart. She's getting all suited up right now, but before we get into it and bring the cart up here to the track, I want you guys to hear about the sponsor of today's video. Now the sponsor of today's video is Race Day Rub. Now Race Day Rub is a premium American made barbecue seasoning that is actually all racing themed. You can see their products here behind me. We have turn one, which is the A main turn two, which is the slide job, turn three, which is the pit stop, and turn four, which is the checkered flag. Now the product that I'm gonna be using tonight is A main turn one. They like to call this one all reliable. The ingredients are black pepper, garlic, and sea salt. So we are gonna be giving turn one a try. Now one of my favorite things about this organization is they actually have a mission called Grilling for Good. Now Grilling for Good is a nonprofit organization that donates every single penny they make to charities uh, locally, regionally, and nationally throughout the United States to help other American families. So I absolutely love what they stand for and I'm excited to work with them and try their product. If you would like to give their product a try, you guys can head on over to grillingforgood.com or the link I placed at the top of the description. Now, while you're over there checking out their products, use code Tanner at checkout for 18% off. That's T-A-N-N-E-R for 18% off at checkout. And if you stay tuned at the end of the video, I'll be letting you know my thoughts on the turn one. Anyway, it's about time for mom to get in the outlaw car and head out on the track. So we're up here at the track and we have the car that my mom is gonna be testing in tonight. Now this is actually the exact same car, frame, cage, power plant that my mom ran at the end of November. It just has Carly's body on it because she ran Albany on Friday along with myself. So that video will be coming up soon. Also, one thing I wanted to note, because if you guys watched the first part of this, my mom, when she was starting the car, she stalled it like three times. And that is because this is an electric start and then you have to take off on your own. If you kind of zoom in here on the right side, you can see you just have to flip these switches and you just hit this button and it's on. So that is a great tool for young drivers. So my mom's walking up to the racetrack right now. We're gonna get her in the seat and we'll, uh, we'll see how part two of this goes. Uh, here. 
pull this clutch My in. Put your left clutch leg in. Okay, so we got mom in the car. I think this is a good welcome back to the video. So one time out of probably the last five years we've done YouTube, you were the star of the show, and that was the one time you got an outlaw cart, and now it's your it's your next big day. Yep, I'm ready. I barely am just stuck in this thing. Like <laughs> it's because Carly was in it. If I would have been in it, you would have probably more room because it was adjusted for her pedals. Wait, wait. I just realized, guys, we forgot to. You forgot. It's all right, to, kids at home. You don't, for, don't don't don't. <laughs> she forgot this. to put her hybrid on, but that's I, okay. We're I going. I'm we're, gonna wear gloves that. that <laughs> Have holes in them. So for the video, my mom wore the uh, TH suit last year, so I wanted to give her the new pit stop suit so she looked good in the seat. Here's the helmet. Yeah, so flip these up. Okay, hit the button. Wait, how do I turn it off? You just hit you just hit that back. Right, that. Okay. Okay, hit the button. With my clutch in? No, you're good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, you're in gear. My bad. That that's 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 owner's fault right there. Okay. I think you guys are setting me up to fail. Okay, try it again. Give it gas and let this out slowly, but give it gas as you go. Remember the gas. Yo, you. on as well <laughs> all right so i think two things already two big compliments one if you guys watched the last one you know well, it was fall and the track was a lot worse so i wanted to give her better conditions that's why we decided to do this in august you're running right through the middle of the track last time you were in the infield and you know i mean you're you're actually there a couple times i think you were had a higher speed than last time i was definitely doing the corners a little more full throttle <laughs> and so when i enter three and four it's a little bumpy but for the most part. You're kind of driving like you're on the freeway on I-5. Uh, if you maybe try to go down here, see what happens, I don't know. Well, I bounce around so much, my hands just kind of land wherever <laughs> I'm steering wheel. So the racetrack's a little bit smoother. Like I said, we really wanted to give some better track conditions because it was really hard to, well, I mean, it was really hard to turn lap. The track was so wet and rough and had leaves and slime and it was just, it was a mud ball, so. All right, I think a good goal this time. You gotta fire it up and roll away in one chance. Slowly. First try. She got it. Okay, honest thoughts after uh, tri time trial two, we'll call it. 
No, it was good. I, I actually got some mud in my face, so I'd put my visor down. I could actually do that going down the straightaway. I'm really hoping to widen it out a little bit. and uh, You were kind of getting sideways off the corners. That's what I, I really want to. <laughs> I can't get over how much you look like me in there. <laughs> okay. Uh, all, all right. Okay, so... We're gonna send her out here. I think this will, last last video we did three sessions. I would definitely say, like I mentioned, we're seeing improvement. And also for this third session, we are going to hand time her so we can give her an idea of what kind of lap times we're turning. And then also we can set a track record around this place because officially I guess we don't have one. <laughs> What were her times? 13.42. 13.4. Pretty good. That's actually pretty solid. Was, were they pretty consistent? You're actually, you're really straight and you definitely started to pick up the gas more. You see, I got a little sideways. Yeah, you got, got sideways there, saved it. Yeah. And I noticed, I mean, even your hands were starting to work its way farther down. It's a workout. <laughs> it's tough. These outlaw carts are really, they're really no joke. From the, from the waist up, you're feeling it. I'm, I'm going to be sore. <laughs> well, it doesn't help that I'm not tethered in or anything. Yeah, you don't have, yeah, we kind of, we forgot the, uh, the old hybrid, but that was just because my, I mean, we, we might have to spend some time getting my mom out because like I said, this is set up for Carly, who's 5'4", and you're 5'11". At least. At least. <laughs> so, uh. All right, I mean, that's that's three sessions right there. Okay, we're good. Uh, you're not going to video me getting out, are you? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to video it. <laughs> so one of the main things that makes it tough to get in out of outlaw carts, we have this clutch handle here. So, you good? Yeah. That was way better. All right, out and about. Got some mud on me. To kind of go over, I mean, one last time, round two, you were faster, smoother, you ran a good line. Yep, I'm ready for Carly to get out here. For for anybody that kind of hasn't ever been in a race car, one I said before the video started, I think it's cool because you kind of get the perspective of what it's like to sit in there with a you know a helmet, kind of claustrophobic in a way. You're in the seat, you're stuck in there. Um, can you kind of tell that perspective, and then also just like when you, I mean, when you step on the gas, just what it. Yeah. So. It definitely looks easier in the stands watching you guys. I don't know how you and Carly have done it for all these years, Start, especially starting at age five. And you think of all these parents just really. And how good some of the five-year-olds are. Oh, yeah. Like how, how many parents expect their kids to just be top-notch. And it's just hard. You're going down the straightaway, a, a bump will thrust you forward, and you're just kind of reacting a little bit. And you're trying to just be on offense the whole time. Yeah. So. It, it's definitely different. So if any of you kids have the chance to put your parents in an outlaw cart, go for it. That's round two. So we're going to continue to work on that, but that is going to conclude kind of another backyard track video. Thank you for participating and being a good sport. And thank you to Pit Stop USA for the safety gear that, you know, kept my mom safe while she was in the outlaw cart today. To all those that are watching that are maybe sitting in their recliner with their remote, you know, <laughs> I just encourage them to, you're never too old for this. Uh, Maybe not necessarily an outlaw cart because well, it's a rough Well, ride. you can get, uh, don't tell them that, but you could get bigger seats. Like, I encourage you just to get out there and try it. It actually holds you in your place, so you do bounce around, but, like, I wasn't tethered in, so maybe that was why. But, like, get off the couch, get out of the chair, get something fun going on in your life, and... Um, and, and give it a try. I would agree. Everybody everybody needs to give it a go. It's definitely something different. So like I mentioned, that's going to conclude another Backyard Track video, and you guys need to let us know who you want to see out here next and what vehicle we're going to be ripping.
Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and for supporting my mom in her second ever time in an outlaw cart. And I would have to agree with what my mom said in the last clip. If you ever get the opportunity to sit behind the wheel of a race car and turn some laps, doesn't matter what it is, you should definitely take that opportunity because it's an experience you will remember for the rest of your life. So I'm glad we've been able to give her a shot in outlaw cart and maybe we'll be able to do it over these next couple of months and into 2022. Now also quickly, I wanted to give you my review on the turn one all-purpose race day rub. This was very, very good last night. We had it on our steaks. And our meal overall was a 10 out of 10. We had the steaks, we had some corn on the cob, broccoli, and potatoes. So it was outstanding, and I'm looking forward to trying turns two, three, and four in the upcoming videos we have in the next couple of weeks. But that wraps up another Backyard Track video. Let me know what you want to see ripping around this place next, and we will make it happen. See you guys all in the next video. Deuces.